Hello everyone, welcome back to Goodwood Festival of Speed. You probably hear some of the race cars in the background. I'm here today with Simon from Wind Racer. You're the CEO of this amazing autonomous drone company. Um, people talk about drones being the future of lots of things, including delivery. But you're making the point that this is not the future, this is operational today, right? Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, thanks for your time this afternoon. So, yeah, certainly, I think very much this is the future in terms of how we will see deliveries conducted uh, tomorrow. But actually, this is a reality today. So this platform behind us first flew in 2019. And we've already proven that we can deliver day in, day out operations with this platform. This aircraft behind us can fly a thousand kilometers carry a hundred kilogram plus payload and do that in most weather conditions that nature can throw at us. Yeah, you described us the Jeep of the sky, right? Uh, so it's certainly been designed to be as robust as a Jeep. Uh, so you can see it's about 90% aluminium. Uh, it's a very robust platform with multiple layers of redundancy. The special source is really the autopilot and the avionics that allows it, as your intro said, to uh, be operated autonomously. Very good, and I would love to talk about some use cases. Um, you shared with me that you've delivered mail already here in the UK. Do you want to share this? Yeah, so with our partners, Royal Mail, uh, over the last number of years, we've done successful trials delivering post and parcel. Uh, we've delivered a day, eight, day in, day out service uh, to the Isles of Scilly for a month. Uh, about two years ago, we've delivered uh, post and parcel up in um, Scotland. Uh, two years ago, we delivered the world's longest, what they call beyond visual line of sight, uh, airmail delivery, which was 120 miles each way. Uh, we've delivered cargo on behalf of the NHS in the UK. We had a platform, a different one than this, fly down in the Antarctic earlier this year, surveying the local seal colony, uh, measuring the uh, thickness of the ice cap, and also doing a, a mineral survey of geological deposits. So multiple use cases have already been proven. It's a very versatile platform. Yeah, they're super, super exciting. The challenge with all of, with drones like this is obviously safety and regulation. Do you want to talk about the safety element of these? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And you know, safety is is critical. So there's a number of fail safes built into this platform. You can see it is a big lump of metal. Uh, so safety has to uh, be very high on our list of priorities of things to deal with. Uh, but the autonomy has multiple layers of redundancy, as I mentioned, built into it uh, to ensure that we minimize the likelihood of any issues. And indeed, when an issue does occur, uh, that we have a plan for how the platform can uh, be treated or land in a benign fashion. Um, and then in terms of um, the uh, regulatory side of things, so there's still quite a lot of work to be done, but we are starting to break those barriers down and the more operational experience we can get and the more proof points and the more real life data we can get the more we can work with the regulator to push the regulation forward. So what other use cases beyond the ones we've just talked about do you see for this technology? Yeah, so our, our core use cases are around middle mile delivery so uh, delivering packages, cargo, whatever that may be over distances of between 250 to 500 kilometer radiuses. Uh, and then the founding purpose of the company was actually to deliver humanitarian aid into Africa. Mm. So if you look at many of the design attributes of the platform, it is to deliver food, water, emergency supplies into environments that get disconnected when they really need it. I guess another use case area is the defense industry, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. The, uh, the use case in defense is uh, not dissimilar from what we do in the civilian world. Uh, so it's resupply. Um, you know, and clearly in the defense world, we're able to fly this thing at night because it's autonomously. We're able to fly it very low. We're also able to drop cargo out of the platform. Uh, so that enables us to deliver resupply into environments that might otherwise be tricky to get to um, and it also enables defense forces that we work with to focus their personnel on the task at hand as opposed to if you like the sort of back office resupply tasks and you were talking about it landing on an aircraft carrier oh yeah so uh, yeah we're very proud of our achievement to be the first uh, drone platform autonomous drone platform to, uh, to land and then take off from an aircraft carrier. So we were very lucky 
to work with the UK Ministry of Defence last year and achieve that milestone, uh, landing on the uh, one of the UK's aircraft carriers, uh, which was yeah, a very successful event, which we're very proud of. Yeah, that's super exciting and very novel, novel use cases. Um, what's the business model? How do you see this operating in the future? Uh, I mean, our uh, preferred business model is to run this as a service. You know, we want to make it as easy as possible for people to put cargo onto the platform. Uh, so it is a pay-per-play model where, you know, we foresee the business growing and scaling significantly to put in place routes, uh, connection points, you know, all over the world in all likelihood, uh, started with partners like the Royal Mail, and then opening up the ability for people to put cargo onto these platforms in much the same way that they do with existing logistics providers today. And then in the humanitarian uh, marketplace you know we see ourselves working with partners such as the United Nations World Food Program to put in place core routes which again we can then open up to uh, those economies in order to help them uh, grow and prosper further than they might otherwise because there's a lot of places around the world where they're never ever going to be able to build enough roads uh, and that is a problem that we help leapfrog beyond. Very good. Thank you very much, Simon. Well, so this you. is super exciting because this is technology that is operational today, autonomous drones delivering real-world case studies. So stay tuned.